Okay, so today we're going to order rational numbers. So just putting them in order from left to right. So th the first thing you have to think about is you want to convert all of them to one form, all numbers to one form, whether that's all fractions, whether that's all decimals, or whether that's all percents. Personally, I feel comfortable ordering things when I have them all in fraction form, but you choose which one works best for you. Second thing I'm going to think about is to put all negative numbers first. So on the number line, if you're going to go ahead and order numbers, negatives start on the left and all the positives are going to be on the right. So it's going to be a good idea to start with those negative numbers. And then next, use a number line. Okay, We all know how to draw a number line, so let's go ahead and use them today. So my numbers range from negative 2 to 3 and a half. So I'm just going to draw my number line accordingly. One, two, three, four. So this is gonna be all negatives on this side. And then one, two, three, four. Now, keep in mind, with negatives, the rules are reversed. So the bigger the negative, the smaller it actually is. So think about it like this. Think about negatives in terms of debt. Would you rather owe somebody $1 or would you rather owe somebody $4? Me personally, I would rather owe someone $1. So this is gonna be more on the positive side. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So our first number is gonna be negative two. So negative two goes right here. Next, we have four over two. Um, let's actually stick to the negatives first. So this is gonna be negative 1.5. So 1.5 is gonna be in between one and uh, negative one and negative two. So it'll be about right here negative 1.5 okay so here's the first one here's the second one next I'm gonna figure out these fractions now 4 over 2 if I go ahead and divide that 4 over 2 is just 2 so I'm gonna put that over here that's gonna be 4 over 2 the next thing is gonna be 3 and a half so 3 and a half is located between 3 and 4 so 3 and 1 half as you can see, the, this number line really helps figure out the correct positioning. And after this number line is finished, it's simply just writing them down in order. So next is gonna be 3 fourths. Now, if you don't know what 3 fourths is, you could go ahead and create an equivalent expression. I know that 100 is gonna go, uh, four is gonna go evenly into 100 times 25 times 25. So it's gonna be 75 hundredths, all right? So if you think about 75 hundredths, that's 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is around right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put three fourths here, all right? And then lastly, we have to figure out what 1.64 is. Since this is over here, we're guessing 1.64 is gonna be somewhere in between three fourths and four over two, all right? So this is what we have so far. So these numbers ordered, is gonna be negative two, negative 1.5, three fourths, 1.64, four over two, and then lastly, three and one half. This would be your answer, okay? So as you can see, use number lines. They really help you out, okay? That's it.